Gang, 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 gang. What's poppin', man? Welcome back to Mass Free Podcast. I am the host, Carmen Slaughter. Everybody hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button too while I get y'all an introduction, dog. Man, you bitch niggas better end your butt elevate. I need six figure money, won't have the bucks and hella cake. Fuck boy, I've been on dummy, shooting hella ops, make them a day. If not him, then kill his mama, make him feel his wrath in the hell away. Hydro shots, but it's all in his chest, watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath, and then I skid away. This a hollow tip. Gang, gang, what's poppin', man? Welcome back to Mess Free Podcast. Y'all already know what up. I am the host, Carmen Slaughter. Everybody hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me get a little light, make it a little more litty. You feel me? Bam, there we go. <clears throat> we always need that light, man. So look, you live and you learn, man, every day, right? You live and you learn. You live and you learn. And um, some people, they be having to learn the hard way. Yes, they learn the hard way. Some they learn the easier way out. Um, because in life is always an easier way out, it's always another route around the hard way, it's always a route around that bullshit negative way that y'all always go through. You know what I'm talking about? Um, at the end of the day, I feel like you live and you learn on every aspect and every level and every vortex of life, gang. And me personally, every step of the way in my life, I want to learn the easiest way. You feel me? Because I think I already went through the hardest shit in the foster homes. I already went through some of the hardest shit growing up. You feel me? As a youngster, you know? And I still thank my mom, you know, for everything she done for me. She one of my uh, uh, number one supporters, gang, in anything I do. So, you know, I thank her. I love her dearly. You know what I'm saying? And half of the time when y'all see me on this toolbox, you know I got to do this for the family. Um, do this for moms. Moms, you know that. We're going to get this house off of this. But at the end of the day, though, gang, you live and you learn, man. Some of y'all... Y'all live and y'all go through situations and y'all let them situations topsy-turvy your life. You know what I mean by topsy-turvy? You let it turn your shit upside down, you know? Um, not no day in, in life should you let it turn your life upside down. No situation that you go through should be able to turn your life upside down. You know what I'm talking about? You should be able to withstand and handle any situation that you go through. Um, so many soft people out here, gang. When I say soft, I mean soft. Too many people out here not groomed with toughness, you know? You ain't got to groom a man that doing shit that they don't want to do in life because that's not the right way to groom somebody, but groom them into be the person they want to be, not who you want them to be. And nowadays, people ain't groomed with toughness. They, they don't come with that no more, gang. You know, I'm, I'm tired of seeing motherfuckers not being able to, you know, come to the, the table with toughness in their in they bodies. You feel me? Uh <clears throat> I'm tired of it at the end of the day. Let me see something. I was trying to hook this, uh, up, hook my iPhone up to this so I can start my recording from here. Y'all understand me? Um, what's this? Some kind of devices. Uh, okay. All right. At the end of the day, oh, I like this all. Oh. All right. At the end of the day, though, gang, I feel like I feel like a lot of times y'all love to learn the most negative way ever. Y'all don't be giving no fuck. You feel me? Some of y'all don't be giving a fuck about how you learn. You don't give a fuck if you got to go through uh, uh, hardship. You don't give a fuck if you got to go through uh, uh, some of the worstest of the worst times, gang. You feel me? Uh, y'all motherfuckers be out here, you know, just not giving a fuck, gang. And me personally in life, I, I, I was taught, you know, to give a fuck. Sometimes you bump your head a couple times, but, you know, when you bump your head that time, gang, that one hard time, that one strong time, you, you don't want to bump that motherfucker no more. You don't want to run and bump it no more, gang. You be like, I'm done. I live and I learn. And sometimes living and learning, that helps you scale your life and get to better heights and get to, you know what I'm saying? Places you've never been, you know what I'm saying? Places you probably thought you couldn't make it to. Um I feel like a lot of people don't love their life. They don't love their life. You can't love your life if you out here living any type of way, if you out here teaching any type of way, if you out here and you got knowledge on your brain and your heart and you ain't passing it along, you can't love life. You don't give a fuck. Obviously, you only care about you. I don't like people that only care about them. You feel me? In the world we live in, in the, in the, in the country we live in, in the state we live in, we in the Midwest, motherfuckers should start caring a little more about each other, guy. 
You feel me? Because at the end of the day, your neighbor can help you, really. It can be the motherfuckers that you don't like next door that really come through for you, say your ass. You can have a robber come in and, and you sleep in the middle of the night. You don't even know they outside chipping at your window trying to get in and your neighbor see them let a shot off. Boom! You feel me? And save your ass. You feel me? And that, that really be taking place out here in some states. You feel me? Whether it's mine or yours. like, But some people be ungrateful for that, man. Some people, they be like, man, you know, they'll still treat that person like shit. They'll still do them bogus. They'll treat them any type of way. I see this all the time, you know, definitely when it comes to family. Um, and that's one of the sickest things in the world, you know, that can possibly take place. You know, my nigga, if y'all together, y'all together. Stick together. Stick tight together. You feel me? Don't do shit for one another if you feel like you're doing it uh, for something in return. A lot of y'all do shit for shit in return. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen this happen uh, many times in my life. Y'all do shit <clears throat> in hopes of something. You know what I'm saying? In hopes that, hey, maybe they're going to give me more than what I gave them. Hey, maybe they're going to look out for me like I ain't never looked out for them. No, stop it. Mm? Stop it. You know, before before anything, you 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 want to pray that they still fuck with you after you give them anything. Because some people don't. Some people don't, you know, but yet they're going to live and learn off of that. Not fucking with you and burning a bridge that they just built. But some people don't get no fuck. Some people don't, you know. I got family members that don't get no fuck about that. They they cross you quick as a motherfucker, like fuck you, gang. You know, and 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 it's all on them, and they don't care. They gonna still live their life, do what they gotta do. They gonna still rob the next motherfucker, take from the next motherfucker, gang. Get sad. <laughs> a lifestyle I don't want to live. That's the lifestyle you never catch me at. That's the lowest of a person. That's the lowest. You know. I think everybody out here should be trying to scale to the highest. You feel me? And that's what I'm doing. I'm scaling to my highest. And to do that, you got to be more positive. You got to be more loving. You got to be more caring. You got to understand more. You got to be conscious. You know, you got to understand that we all are connected energetically, physically, mentally, spiritually. And y'all don't, y'all, some of y'all don't understand that. Even, even when I drop these videos, y'all still don't understand that. Y'all be looking at my shit and question what I'm talking about. Like, what are you saying? What are you, bitch, is you, is you dumb? Do you speak a different language or something? Like, gang, all it takes is for you to peep, sit your ass down, open your goddamn big ass ears on your head, gang, and, and pay attention. That's all it takes. Pay attention. Listen more to you talk. Too many people out here talking too much, you know? How important is life to you? Because if it was that important, you would listen more than you talk. If life was really important to you, gang, you would bust more moves than what you do now. Some of you niggas sit around all day. Bitches, too. Y'all bitches sit around all day and wait on a handout from a nigga or something like that. You know, I can't call y'all women because y'all ain't doing women things. Y'all don't rub me, rub against me as, as, as the woman. You know, as we see women out here hardworking, uh, even if they got to break their neck and ask for two jobs, you know, to make sure they take care of the family, the kids. I don't see some of you bitches out here doing that. Y'all selling pussy. You feel me? And some people, I ain't going to knock you for what you're doing and how you make your money. Shit, I am. I'm tired of saying that. Sometimes that ain't the route to go. I'm going to knock you. It's kids watching you, bitch. If you got kids, your kids coming home seeing you pop that ass, shake that pussy, and they think it's cool. So now when they grow up, that's the first thing they going to go to do to make money. Strip. I see my mama doing it. You feel me? I watched my mama boyfriend beat her ass to make her go strip. I'm going to do it. Like, really? Really, though. You know? And the motherfucker told me I was wrong for being on YouTube. Look, stop it. This is my job, gang. You know? Somebody got to do it. And... At the end of the day, I'm like, yo, how, how, how important is life to you? You know, you can tell somebody life ain't important when they get to doing heinous shit and regular shit. You can tell. Sometimes you can even tell somebody life ain't important, gang, when they get to dress and how they dress, how they look, how they carry themselves. You hear me? I hear motherfuckers talk about me all day. I don't be giving no fuck because I know who I am and I know what I ain't. And the same people that talk about you, they don't have a clue who they is. They don't even know what they want to be. That's why the universe is so confused and sending them things. You feel me? They don't know what the fuck they want to do with themselves. I do. I never been one of them motherfuckers. You hear me? Mm -mm. I ain't never been one of them motherfuckers. I ain't confused. I ain't uh, just indecisive. I know exactly what I want to do, where I want to be, where I want to go, what trips I want to take, who I want to visit. You feel me? I know who I want to interview. Like I told you, I'm going to start doing interviews, gang. I don't know why people don't believe me. I'm going to start doing interviews on that ass. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to be shocked. Like, oh, gang got them interviews popping. Yes. But I ain't going to be doing... Any type, I ain't gonna do celebrity interviews. I don't know no celebs right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When I do meet them, I'll start interviewing them. But I'm gonna interview people in my city. I wanna interview people in my city. People that really work hard, people that's really positive, people that's really changing their mind state, people that's really tired of the cycle that black people is in. I wanna interview people like that, people that got a mind state to make it. You know what I'm saying? People that can achieve greater, 
than what they had before. You know what I'm talking about? People who hate being stuck. <laughs> yeah. I want to interview some people with great testimonies, gang, and great stories because people out here want to hear that. And somebody that can relate to that shit, you know? Whether you feel like it or not, somebody out here can relate to that shit, gang. I'm telling y'all the truth. Somebody can relate to that. They hit that motherfucking like button, that share button, subscribe to the fucking channel, and comment. I need to start putting that in a little earlier. That was my bad. I definitely do, but like, man, yeah, I, I really want to do a lot, gang, and I want to help other people do a lot. Hopefully, somebody want to help me do a lot. Like I said, I need a team, too, to run this YouTube shit. I definitely do, you know? <coughs> I need moderators. <coughs> You know, I got a couple ranches and they want to give out, <laughs> but it got to be some loyal motherfuckers. Can't be no anybody. You got to be some loyal motherfuckers, man or female. You know, I'd rather female females be loyal, but you know, a nigga cool too, gang. As long as y'all loyal, we trying to work. We trying to network, get this mess free podcast off the ground, keep it running, put everybody in position to make money. Then that's what's up. You feel me? Get a couple of sponsorships going. That's what's up. Help a couple of people on the outs. You know, I want to do all that go outside video recording people outside the home base, you know, because I do a lot of work from inside the crib, gang, when y'all see me on this bitch. And then sometimes when you see me on the house, yes, I got the iPhone, I'm recording, got the, um, the stick, you know, holding it up, whatever, whatnot. I'm trying to, you know, do what I do. But for the most part, I be trying to motivate people. I be trying to inspire people. And I be trying to make people believe in themselves because ain't nobody going to believe in them if they don't believe in themselves. You feel me? And ain't nobody telling them that. So that's what I like to do. I like to inspire people to be the best person they, they can be, gang. Love themselves a little more. And then I try to inspire them also to teach that to everybody else they fucking with. Because, my nigga, if they if they a leader in a clan, don't you know everybody going to follow suit? Don't you know everybody going to do what the fuck they doing? Everybody, don't you know that? ASAP, if you a leader in your clan, everybody going to do what you doing. You know what I'm saying? No if ands and buts about that. Motherfuckers gonna follow suit. Definitely if they feel like it's beneficial towards them. So why not? You know, why not do it? But I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer, man. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all take care, man. Stay safe. Watch out. Watch your circle before they murk you, man. Uh, stay always on the grind, though. You feel me? Stay always persistent. Stay consistent in what you're doing. Stay determined. You feel me? Stay with a drive in your heart and in your mind, gang. You feel me? And stay positive too. That carry you a long way i'm out man. gang 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 what's up man this your boy carnal slaughter man welcome back to the street university i'd like to thank all y'all who came out you know gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel both channels watching the video i really appreciate y'all man and those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in make sure you hit that subscribe button those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving. You feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.